walnut, whatever yeah. they are. Yeah, I got a whole pile. Debbie, can you get this back here too? So I got this door open. I think it was just this was stuck in there, a little bit of the trim. Kinked it a little bit. It says it's got 73,629. One of the other ones has got like, I think the lowest miles is 23,000 if they're accurate, when they very well could be. These weren't known for having the best heaters, so. The other one's got, I think, 50,000 on it from 1960. And my buddy Dean mentioned in the comments that he had one, I think, in 1964. And you could jump, drop it in gear, and push it down the hill and it would start. I know a lot of the Chevys used to do that. I th something about the uh, pump and the transmission. They would actually, just like a stick pop in the clutch. I remember you had to go about 19 mile an hour, but this may be a lot different. I don't know. I went to a yard sale probably a month ago and, and bought some, a bunch of brand new indoor outdoor carpet enough to do probably two or three Corvairs I got it for five bucks we've been messing around with this a little bit today we're gonna blow this all out with a compressor and then we're gonna see if we can get some oil in the cylinder find a plug or it so I'm gonna pull this breather off once we get most of the side of here. Look at Debbie go. She wants to drive this to the mall. Yeah. These are supposed to get pretty good gas mileage. Pretty much a lot like a Volkswagen, only it's a six cylinder. We'll probably be able to blow a lot of that out. You can't get to that. Yeah. I noticed it needs a coil. Just a standard 12 volt coil. So I had to do some beating and frying, and I got the brakes. This side was actually stuck right to the uh, caliper there. Or not the caliper, the loader. Brake drum, I'll get it. The pad is totally off that one. I don't know how many years it's been setting. I ended up using a pickle fork when I got it to move a little bit. I could get in between these. I had enough room to get in between these. I mean, I'm frying this way in from behind there. I believe them uh, drums can be turned. They look pretty thick. Okay. Well, I showed the video yesterday. This thing was just packed with uh, these nuts. I guess they're more nuts. This side, the brakes weren't too bad of course we'll get them in a set and put a new one put new brakes on it yep yeah I ruined that rim I didn't realize that it made it almost all the way home and then it I've seen a couple sparks but it skidded so I don't know if it's four miles we hauled it out of or not, but these things right here, they're actually meant to cool this, and they got a little, I think these right here, they're made with a lot of drain and, and not get into the car, that's right across there, there's some kind of nest in there too, 
That's probably good, Debbie. We'll blow it out if you want. I'll blow it. I'll blow it out if you want. You can. Yeah, it looks a lot better already. Just cleaned it up, and now we'll be able to get some wheels on it and roll it in the, the garage. But uh, I just noticed that part there is leaking. Probably have to throw another tarp over it for the winter. But it only leaks when it rains. You gonna turn it over? Go ahead. I, I couldn't. Well, that fan turns. Yeah. The, oh, I couldn't get it to go. Yeah, that that's not the crank. It would be nice. Now these Corvairs. I don't really know much, but I've been watching a lot of videos. You got to pull these off because they get nest under there and they're they're air cooled. So you want to make sure you pull that off and clean around the fins around the real good. And underneath they get they got some areas that te tend to get nest and leaves and debris. So when I get it rolling over, I can actually unhook that generator there. Another thing they say, these are real common for throwing that belt. So they recommend you carry an extra belt. And of course, a little warning was telling you at the red light, come on to pull over and, I don't know, probably basically check that belt there, make sure that's on there. But I'm, I'll get a new belt for it and carry an extra one. So I gotta get a coil. There may be one on them other ones. Which should be here next week. And you wanna keep every, all these, like this right here, anything that would let air uh, come out, you actually wanna keep that air in there the way it's made to cool it. So that's a transmission cooler right there. I think the cover's missing. They say you wanna have that on there. There's a rubber boot around here that's off here. That you can replace all that, so you're supposed to have all that. It's supposed to have a lot to do with the cooling of these things, and I think the heating. They had some of them had actually a gas heater. There was a T in the line, a little little heater that uh, you heated with. I'm just learning about them, but Debbie actually joined the Corvair Club. Yeah, I did. They got all kinds of parts and buy swap and trade and all that kind of stuff so we're just trying to fix it up i'm not sure the other seats are any better shape i think we got three of the hubcaps maybe more there might be some in the trunk we don't want to break this out i've been trying to figure out how to get in there need a couple letters here i'll find them eventually That's the rust. It's a 1963. Pretty solid though. Look at Debbie go. Still getting one. Whoops. Get one. Oh, that one underneath. Well, that's all right. We got a lot of that. That's not. That's all compost right there. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. Oh yeah. But yeah. Hey, you wanna hold this just a second, Debbie? And I'll. Oh, let me keep I'll hook my this thing up. See if I can blow it out a little bit. Yeah. Did I comb my hair today? Yeah. Hello everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Watch your eyes, Debbie. Okay, let me. Buy that replacement trim. If you want to, it'll save me the money. Oh. Yeah.
way you just went up on this. tells you it's got a high performance or not a high performance but I think a hundred and two horsepower motor I think this one's 90 I can't remember but the other car we got to go get has got a couple holes here and it's a 64 and I think that's how you distinguish them with a higher horsepower motor it's already 102 horse on that when they got them bigger but there's a couple little holes here and I think that one might be a hundred and two horse but it's got all the numbers here. You can track these numbers and see what year, what year they are and what they were painted. And I gotta figure all that out, but we got more paperwork in here. Okay. I guess this comes apart like this. They got a thing that runs between the two breathers. I guess it's called the snorkel. And hopefully between the the cars there's enough to make that's gonna need change oh yeah that looks kind of rough yes it does that, that's junk i can put i put my fingers literally right through it yeah that's bad we'll save that in case we have to duct tape it back together we'll put that nut on there there's the bottom piece of it. That's oh, wonderful. Maybe so this ain't well. It ain't directly with the carburetor, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, that didn't get a bunch of water in the motor. The oil looks really clean in this and full. So I have a feeling this was probably somebody's. I think the same person probably originally owned all these cars, and I think they probably passed on. So I don't want to. Uh, see him go to the scrapyard. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, see what I can do with them. Of course, I'm getting charging Debbie by the hour. Right. That can't be good. No. All right. Let me get some more of this. One. <laughs>
designed to keep the air in, I guess, to help to help cool the motor. Hey Debbie, I'm gonna push the gas pedal. You you video over here and see if this actually moves at all. Okay, very much. Okay. This this shaft right here. Yeah. The, yeah, a little bit. Just, I just saw the little rubber part moving a little bit. Well, we can always put a shoestring on. I got an old shoestring. There you go. Just run it through the window for you. So we got some stuff in there. We're going to want to get that out of there real quick. Well, next step is we're just going to pull the, see if we can find a plug wrench today and pull the plugs out of it, get some oil down it. Watch your eyes for just a second, Debbie. Hope everybody's having a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Debbie said find a project. Did you say find a project, Debbie? Yeah, or not, or whatever. Goodbye now. Goodbye.